Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes. I hope that you're doing well and feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section, one-on-one -on -one bookings, as well as a link to your free natal chart so that you may explore all of these beautiful energies that are within you. Beautiful Libras, we're tapping into the water signs. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and energetically hit the like button to partake in this energy that you're about to access from the dynasty. We welcome you. Let's talk about these water signs, all right? Whether you're cross-watching, if you are dealing with a Pisces Cancer, our Scorpio energy. We're going to explore those energies tonight, okay? We're going to see exactly what's going on in the energy and, hey, where's it going, all right? So, let's get to it, beautiful ones. This is a general reading. Remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. We're going to start off with the energy of Pisces. I'll be working with several different oracles tonight. And we're going to go into this energy of tapping into the purpose behind the relationships. Now, we know ancestrally we are paired divinely, okay? And our ancestors, our spirit guides, our host of angels, they work magic behind the scenes to support with this union, okay? If it's one that was divinely put together. Mm -hmm. And it's meant to happen. So having this support this is where we get into this energy of, you know, saying, oh, is this a soulmate? Is this a twin flame energy? What I want to describe before we get into this energy is a past life energy, okay? When we pull the six of cups and we always say this is a person from the past, when we say the past, the past could be four, five minutes ago, right? However, the past, when we talk about the past life, in the essence of ancestrally, we're talking about these different synchronicities and these different linkages to knowing that this is a person that you experienced before in your lifetime, be it lifetimes ago are a lifetime ago. So there are different things that you'll be able to know if this is a person from your past life. And when we're dealing with water, we're dealing with memory. Water holds memory. So this is why Cancers, Pisces, and Scorpios are very deep, deep, methodic thinkers, okay? Methodic, um, if I'm saying that right. It's, it's a combination of just being so deep on the level that the memory of it still holds weight in the 3D. Okay, if that makes sense to you, beautiful ones. So there are different synchronicities, such as being able to look at this person's eyes and see that you recognize them. 
the windows are the souls, okay? The eyes are the windows to the soul. So when you are able to look into someone's eyes and feel like you recognize them, when you feel a sense of comfortability as if you have a sense of belonging together, belonging, like you literally feel like you belong with this person and vice versa. It's not a one-way street. It's a two-way street where two energies feel a sense of really dedication to one another. This is the type of energy where you feel a certain type of responsibility to this energy because they are familiar on an energetic level that is healing, soothing, and comforting, all right? These are just a few of the characteristics when it comes to knowing if this is a past life energy. This is also someone that you two have the same reoccurring dreams together. This is also someone whom, no matter where they are and where you are in the world, you can feel their pain, their hurt. This is a connection past the 3D level because it's lifetimes ago. You finish their sentences. You know what they're going to say before they say it. They're different. There are so many. And I'll go through the list, but I'm pretty much combining all of them together just off the top of my head, off of these different energetic synchronicities that happen with people who unite with one another from a lifetime ago or lifetimes ago those ancient times. So let's go ahead, let's get into it, beautiful ones. We're working with the secrets of the ancestors. And we know that ancestrally, ancestors have everything to do with pairing these divine unions together because this is the energy that we are in. There are many divine unions that are coming together because this energy is needed for the vibration of the universe in this time as we continue to go through these trying times. No matter where you are at in the world, times are trying. And the power couples that we see that are in charge now, they're standing down because they know there is a new energy coming up. And we see them, okay? And they don't have to be major celebrities. But these energies are working beautiful works in their communities, in their local state cities. So let's talk about it, okay? No matter what field they are in, these are people that are sent here divinely to uplift wherever their assignment is together. And we're tapping into this energy, okay? Ancestrally, beautiful ones. Secrets of the Ancestors for the energy of Pisces. Libra dealing with Pisces energy. Libra dealing with Pisces energy. Libra dealing with Pisces energy. Libra, Pisces. It's me. Ooh. Almost lost them. Thank you. Pisces. Leave us dealing with Pisces energy. And we're going to pull three of these with some confirmation. Wow. We got more than three that came out. Looks like four. Mm, let's see. 
Well, I like it, okay? It's four. And it is four, four porta. So we'll take them. Mm hmm Now we'll go over these energies and see the significance. Wow. <laughs> see the significance and you involving my Libras involving a Pisces energy, okay? You got the mother of water to come out. Mm-hmm. And this is beautiful. Now, the mother of water, this is the queen of cups. Emotional self-care. Mm-hmm. Emotional self-care. This is about taking care of yourself emotionally. Wow, because you're needed. You're needed in the world. You're needed in the universe because you're the mother of water and you're looked to for the nourishment. So you're somebody's mother of water. Now flip and switch these energies, okay? Your nourishment to someone's soul, this Pisces energy, or this is Pisces energy as well. They are nourishment to your soul, or they see you as nourishment. Mm. You have creature of air, and this, of course, is you. Speed. Creature of air. Wow. I'm going to look into the frequency of 30, mother of water. Beautiful ones. This is a queen of cups. Uh-huh. And her declaration is, I am filled with the power of love. Mm. Her ancestral medicine is, for many of years, your ancestors embodying love was a liability. Being vulnerable left them open to being hurt and perilous situations. When you choose the power of openness and vulnerability, you heal them. You do not need to make choices from fear and lack in the same way they did. Wow. This is choosing love over ancestral pain of having to hide what it is that you truly feel. So you're tapped into your own emotional self-care so that you can actually nourish in a healthy way creature of air frequency of 34 beautiful ones and this is speed let me show this card this is gorgeous mm -hmm. knight of swords <laughs> this is the knight of swords here their declaration is, I am willing to take my time. Wow. So someone who is normally, Libra, someone who wants things to happen really fast, uh-huh. You are now in this energy of taking your time. The creature of the air's medicine is, your ancestors were always great communicators. You must heal this going forward. Respect your truth and the truths of those around you as well. Wow. And these are read in the reverse. Okay. Mm. You have Mother of Earth to come out. This is a Queen of Pentacles energy. This is fertile ground fertile ground look at that all that abundance around in your energy frequency of 40 queen of pentacles declaration is all we do is win all we do is win Libra, in this energy, all we do is win with this energy, okay? The ancestors love her home. 
The mother earth is fully grounded and never bored. How can you make your home a more loving and luxurious environment? Hmm, how can you do that? Get into that energy, tap into that energy. What is it that you can do to add some love into your environment? To feel and sit in that energy of a Queen of Pentacles energy, even more so. The star is here. This is about healing. This is a spiritual rebirth that is happening. Spiritual rebirth. Frequency of 17. I am unapologetically me is the declaration. And this is the star, of course. But all things are possible, my child. You are in the flow. You have been chosen to dream bigger and expand your bloodline. Be generous and loving. Share the wealth. Wow. You're being told to expand your bloodline. Share the wealth. You have a Queen of Cups energy out here with the Knight of Swords energy who is a creature of air and a mother of earth, which is fertile ground, being the queen of pentacles energy with a star. There is this water energy that wants to heal. Uh-huh. They want to heal in your energy. They want to heal with your energy. And there's this energy of something that needs to be said when it comes to you, Libra. Give me the mother of water. Mother of water. Wow, that's way too many. Mm. Tell us more, spirit. Mother of water. Okay, we got a few that came out. peacemaker persistence and patience okay so this is your energy all right you're the peacemaker Libras are known for their just their fairness their peace bringing okay you're in this energy of being persistent and being patient at the same time just like the creature of air talked about where you would normally be in an energy of speed one things to happen fast you are you've learned that patience is a virtue uh-huh that's what i'm getting you're the peacemaker give me the creature of air creature of air mm, that's a lot just one spirit creature of air creature of air Pisces. Pisces energy for Libra. Ooh, okay. We got two that flew. A mother of fire and a father of fire came out together. Wow. Wow, that's heavy. This is a king and queen of wands. This is a power couple. Uh-huh. This is a king and a queen of wands. These are two energies that are, your person could have a fire placement, all right? Flip and switch these energies because we got both of them out here. Your person could be, I mean, first of all, these are two individuals that are very passionate about one another. Uh-huh. This mother of fire is shine and rise. Not rise and shine, but shine first and rise. She feeds. She, she is a nurturing energy who is full of passion 
and giving. And the father of fire is passion ignited. So what it is she does drives his fire. She fuels his passion and vice versa. Do you see how she's breastfeeding? And there are other babies that sit out at her feet and they look to be all the same ages. So this is someone who is passionately, constantly like an infernary being ignited and they pour into one another to create this deep passion, all right? So this is something that is the creature of air. This is a knight of swords energy. This is that speed. You're being told to be patient because these fires burn deep, long, and hard is what I'm hearing, okay? You have a king and a queen of a mother and father of fire out here. My goodness. And this is the twins, okay? Conscious connections. Conscious connections. This is a connection. I have to read this energy. Your overall energy with your Pisces. This is a connection from a past. Let's tap into it. It's the frequency of six, beautiful ones. Mm. The lovers, yeah, it's the twins, it's the lovers. The mother of fire and the father of fire are the lovers, overall energy, passion ignited. Wow, and for them to come out like that. They're the twins, they're the lovers. You're the lovers, you and your Pisces energy. It's powerful, okay? Let's talk about it some more. Give me the mother of earth, mother of earth. Oh, okay. Father of earth, wow. <laughs> you two are the king and the queen of pentacles. Look at this. This is the mother of earth, which is fertile ground, and the father of earth, which is generosity. This is someone who knows how to plant the seeds and can trust that the seeds will be planted on fertile ground. Wow, Pisces and Libra. Y'all is so lit. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is, whoa, the star for Pisces. Give us a star for Pisces and Libra, Pisces and Libra. Okay. The judge, here you are, poetic justice. This card is poetic justice, the judge. There's something being made balance between you and a Pisces energy, those dealing with Pisces energies. There is a balance being brought to this energy, okay? I'm hearing some good karma because of the star. It's healing. It's a healing of the energy. And the overall energy is a father of air. This is leadership. This is... A king of swords energy. This is somebody honorable and being truthful in this energy. My goodness. Mm. Let's go ahead and tap into some more energy. Let's tap into some more. Wow, this is heavy. And Pisces. I want to keep it down to 30 minutes for each sign. Uh-huh. Mm, wow, that's some fire energy. We're going straight to the Tarot. Mm-hmm, I'm excited. I have a 
new decks, beautiful decks to use with you all. Pisces with Libra. Pisces with Libra. We're working with Mystical Forest. The Mystical Forest Tarot. Beautiful ones. Pisces with Libra. Energies for Pisces with Libra. I think I'll probably be about 40 minutes. Your sign, beautiful ones. You're going to get into this energy. Uh -huh. Pisces with Libra. for Pisces and Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Tell the story. Tell the story. Thank you. It's me. We got the magician out here. Pisces. We got the tower that is here. Mm. We got the page of swords that is here. Mm. These cards are so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Pisces with Libra. Tell the story. Pisces with Libra. Mm. That's too many. Just one spirit. Pisces will leave her. clarified anyway so let's get into this energy mm. two more cards for Libra okay there we go wow alright these cards are bigger than the others I love them move some of these crystals out the way let's talk about this energy that we have out here okay for my Libras that are dealing with a Pisces energy you got the magician that's out here and this magician is trying to put something back together they're mixing up some potions they're trying to make something happen in this energy yeah and they're concentrating on it really hard uh-huh there's a tower that's going on in this energy people are being tossed off the tree wow that's powerful tossed off the tree this is something connected to the ancestry the family uh-huh spirit is tossing energies off the tree they don't want them in the bloodline is what i'm hearing page of swords is here and this page of swords energy 
this is someone spying, watching you. Uh huh. Flip and switch these energies. You're being looked at. You're being viewed. You're being concentrated on. Okay. Uh huh. You got the pinnacles that's here. Hmm. Three of pinnacles. This is some type of collaboration that's taking place in your energy. The hermit is here, Virgo energy, more earth. Someone has went in, done some soul searching and now sees the light. This is someone coming to uh, inner standing, okay? Of what it is that they went in for. They came out with some answers is what I'm getting from here. And we got the Six of Pentacles that's here. There's some reciprocity someone wants to bring forth in your energy when it comes to Pisces. There's some type of balance. Again, the energy of being balanced. This here, Six of Swords is moving forward. Someone wanting to move forward in the energy and moving for with more balance, more just. You got justice here. This is your energy. Uh-huh. This is some good karma. But if you look at the card, this is being able to look yourself in the mirror and be honest with self and deal with what it is that is coming. Be a good are bad but i'm i'm feeling some good karma this is something that you're actually sitting in this energy of trying to reason with yourself you know is this something that you want for yourself spirit give me the justice give me the justice for libra and pisces libra and pisces okay we got two that came out Nine of Wands and a Nine of Wands. So this is someone that rushed towards your energy, right? Really passionately. And they're now in this energy of feeling like they don't want to give up. So this is why I got that energy with this just... This is someone that doesn't want to give up in your energy and you having to deal with yourself saying, is this what I want? Is this what I truly want for myself? This is having that talk with self. This is mirror work, what she's doing, okay? And it's the energy that wants to come towards you passionately. And I think in the subconscious, you know this, okay? And these wands are here with them not wanting to give up with this nine of wands energy. They don't want to give up in your energy. Mm -hmm. Overall energy is the king of pentacles. There goes the king of pentacles again in this deck. All right. I split the deck. It's the two of cups all day. Yeah, this is a divine love. Mm-hmm. You have the twins to come out in the last deck. So let's talk about it. The magician. Give us the magician. What is the magician doing? Pisces and Libra. What is the magician doing? Wow. These two flip. Mm. Hmm. They're in love. They they want happiness. They want joy. Uh-huh. And they've been thinking about this energy hard when it comes to you. However, this is, you know, probably something they've been trying to fight because they have to put their swords down, but I'm also seeing some type of chaos being created around the energy. We got the three of wands, excuse me, the four of wands that's here. This is that happy, that homecoming, that union energy, okay? But then you got the Five of Swords that's here. This is someone trying to create some type of conflict in the energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this 
this here energy of a magician this is someone trying to make something happen against all odds is what i'm hearing okay give me this five of swords energy overall energy is mm, yeah is the truth this is would be the ace of swords it's called the one of swords so this is the truth what this is clarity Someone is clearly starting some BS in your energy between you and a Pisces energy, okay? Let's talk about it. Give me the five of swords in this energy for Pisces and Libra. Pisces and Libra. Temperance. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So it's either a temperance energy, a Sagittarius energy, mixing up their own ingredients for some problems. Because this is the five of swords we're talking about. All right. Are they trying to create their own balance? Either way I see it, I see this energy interfering. I don't see moderation. I don't see balance. I see someone interfering. This energy is mixing up their own potions, trying to create balance, but this balance doesn't seem like it's for anyone but self is what I'm getting, okay, with this energy. And I feel that strongly and passionately. It's a Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody knows exactly who you are, okay? And you have this energy of someone creating magic. Mm-hmm. In your energy, who is the magician? The magician is a temperance angel. I mean, the magician, both of them are mixing up potions, okay? And your energy. So you have this energy that's in the energy with you in the Pisces, okay? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do these reads single. Yeah, this energy is too much. Yeah, this is going to be just Pisces and Libra. <laughs> Beautiful ones. Yeah, I like to get I like to get in it, okay? So, yeah, this is a Pisces and Libra read only. Beautiful ones. Yeah. No time stamping. Uh-huh. Yeah. The towers here. The towers here. Give us a tower with Pisces and Libra. Pisces and Libra. Thank you. It's free. The hangman, okay? So someone, you know, there is, first of all, this hangman energy. This is about becoming enlightened and someone had to be sacrificed through this enlightenment. Or someone becoming enlightened they realize they have to get some people off their tree. This tree has been shooketh, okay? And it's a tower. It's a tower, okay? So someone became enlightened in your energy and the tree was shook, okay? And people are having to come up off of it. Who's watching Page of Swords? Who's watching Page of Swords? Page of Swords, who's in this energy watching? Cups, okay. One of cups, wow. This is someone that has a whole lot of love for you, okay? This is the ace of cups energy. So this is a divine energy. Someone is watching you in this energy and it's water sign. So this is Pisces energy, okay? We got the Pisces energy here. Your Pisces is watching you, Libra. Uh-huh, they are. And there is some interference. This is why I can't do it, um, you know, back to back like that. Because we are dealing with, we know from the familiarity of your own energy in Libra, we're dealing with more than one person for our collaborative, okay? So there's definitely two energies that are here. And your person 
could be younger in this energy. The full overall energy wanting to take a chance and be free, okay? They're freeing your energy, free to love is what I'm hearing, okay? Because they're watching you, definitely. And this temperance angel mixing up stuff with the magician over here, this is a whole nother vibe. Let's check it again. Give me the temperance angel. Give me the temperance angel and Libra's and Pisces energy. Thank you, spirit. Okay. The lovers. Mm. Yeah, this is somebody choosing. I can't show it completely, but this is somebody choosing. Okay. So this is someone, this is the twins again. So this is someone who is choosing you and they're mixing up potions, okay, <laughs> to do it. Uh-huh. This is how they're cre creating their own balance. Like I said, this didn't seem like a moderation thing. This looks like something that was self-induced, okay? Mm. Overall energy, a king of wands. I can't make it up. Overall energy is the king of wands. This is that Sagittarius energy that is in this energy. Uh-huh. My goodness. My mind. Same brother <laughs> in the energy with a water sign, which is Pisces. So it's a fire sign in your energy that is, you know, trying to cock block something with a water sign. Pisces energy with Libra, okay? Mm. Tell us about the lovers. Tell us about the lover spirit. And then we'll move on. Pisces and Libra. In the energy of Pisces and Libra. Somebody's doing, mixing up some magic when it comes to the lovers. The choice. They're choosing you, but you're choosing someone else. If anyone else, you're not choosing this energy. And this is why they're trying to force some free will. What comes out is a page of wands and a four of cups mm, and a ten of pentacles. This energy is trying to stop the energy of you creating they're trying to have a missed opportunity when it comes to you creating a legacy, a Ten of Pentacles. This energy of the rabbit, uh-huh. Wow. And this Four of Cups. This looks like an armadillo. Mm. With the Page of Wands. This is you creating. This is creating a missed opportunity with the Ten of Pentacles in your energy for the lovers. Wow. Mm, I said it. I felt it. Mm. Give me the hangman spirit. No, let's tap into this Pentacles, this Three of Pentacles, this collaboration. Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Pisces and Okay, wow. Came out in reverse. The fool in reverse. This is someone reckless in your energy. And a three of cups that's in the reverse as well. Hmm. So you have someone, when it comes to the three of pentacles, this collaboration, you got some reckless fools that aren't celebrating anymore. I'll show them in the upright because they're so beautiful, right? But these reckless fools, they they can't celebrate in your energy because they can't celebrate no more. They were reckless in your energy and they came together and all of these energies are reckless together is what I'm seeing, okay? These energies, hmm, made a mess of themselves is what I'm getting. Wow. Yeah, five of wands, a mess of themselves. Like they're fighting amongst 
one another now. Mm-hmm. And it's strong. It's a strong eight of wands. Yeah. This message is coming across very strong when it comes to these energies. When it comes to your energy, Libra, that you're sitting in your nine of pentacles, no matter what it is they thought they were doing in your energy, okay? Let's go ahead. Let's move. The hermit is here. Someone has went in. The hermit. Give us the hermit. Thank you. Wow. The devil. The hermit is the emperor. The two of cups and the devil. Wow. Pisces. You got an emperor energy, okay? Who knows that you are a divine union and they are obsessed over you. Your Pisces energy is obsessed over you, Libra. Let's go through these energies, okay? Here goes the emperor. This is your emperor. Uh-huh. He's the hermit. He's the one that became enlightened or has become enlightened in this energy. A lot of people are going through this rebirth, all right? And we see people are getting thrown off the tree, off the family tree is what I'm hearing, okay? You have the devil that's here. I'm trying to cover up as much as I can. But the devil is here and their crotch is on fire. My goodness. Yeah, fire crotch. And <sighs> the two of cups are here. Uh, let me take a sip of water. <laughs> this is the divine union. Uh-huh. And we got the emperor on the board. And the emperor's in hermit mode. Give us the six of pentacles, spirit, for Libra. Six of pentacles for Libra. It's free. A knight of pentacles. This is someone who wants to bring an offer towards you. And with the Six of Pentacles energy, this is, uh, wow. You have a solid offer. And someone wants to move forward in your energy. They do. And they want to offer some reciprocity. They want to bring some type of balance, some fairness to your energy. And it is a solid offer. They could possibly have an earth placement, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Give me the five, six of swords. Six of swords. This is moving forward with Pisces and Libra. A queen of pentacles. Yeah. More earth energy. You can have earth placement. But this is the queen of pentacles. That's here. Mm. This is a mother figure. A strong mother figure. That's your overall energy. So flip and switch these energies. Who's the queen of pentacles? Tell us about the... Oh, okay. All of these. Flip. Are we taking the one that came out? So there's a queen of pentacles here and the judgment is here, okay? Why is the judgment here for the queen of pentacles? Hmm. Six of cups. This is someone from the past. Give me the judgment card and the queen of pentacles. Judgment and the queen of pentacles. Thank you. Yeah, it came out anyway. It's the Six of Cups. It's someone from the past. And then someone from the past, past life energy is what I'm getting, is a King of Pentacles. It's a King of Pentacles. Wow. 
this is you with the same energy of this fire of queen of fire, fire of what was in that last oracle. You had both of these passionate energies come out with one another. And this is that same vibe. The king and queen of pentacles came out as well. Let's talk about it. The Knight of Wands. Give us the Knight of Wands. Yeah, someone, the Six of Cups energy, this is someone from your past. Mm-hmm. Knight of Wands, Spirit. Knight of Wands, Libra and Pisces energy. A King of Cups. Wow. You got the Pisces energy out here. This is Cancer. They could have a cancer placement as well but this is the energy of water you got a king of cups in your energy and they want to come towards you passionately because you are the sun in their energy libra okay my libra's dealing with pisces they could have a leo placement in their chart as well this person feels comfortable with you. They feel rested with you in your energy is what I'm getting. Mmm. Wow. Give us the hangman spirit. And we're going to get ready to close out with this Pisces. Hangman. Thank you, spirit. Hangman. Excuse me. It's me. Mm, two of swords yeah this would be a hangman energy now there's a hangman this is something that's been suspended because someone couldn't make up their mind they were double minded okay this is some type of confusion the moon is here there's some secrets that are here there's something that is a mystery that has been hidden in this energy so give us give me the two of swords Libra Pisces. Libra with Pisces. Mm, okay. We got two to come out. A queen of swords. Here goes your energy. And a five of pentacles. So there's this two of swords energy. Because someone couldn't make up their mind, a queen of swords energy, which is your energy, you left someone out in the cold. Uh-huh. You left someone out in the cold. You did. Queen of Wands is here. Uh-huh. Queen of Wands energy. Because, I mean, you got better things to do than to play silly games with people who can't make up their mind. That's what I'm getting, okay? You're the queen of swords. You got your boundaries and you look good and you got business to take care of is what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh. Somebody's trapped in their head about your energy, though. And we got this Ace of Cups that's out here. Spirit, give me the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Spirit. Ace of Cups. Mm, this is the truth. This is the one of swords. This is the ace of swords. Yeah, there's some clarity. This ace of cups, this love, this is true love, okay? We got an ace of swords on top of an ace of cups, all right? This is true love, no doubt about it. And they're watching you. The Hierophant, the Most High. This person is being led to you. This King of Cups energy, they're being led to your energy. This Emperor, they're being led to your energy. And yes, you did have someone in your energy trying to infiltrate it. This King of Wands energy, all right? I split the deck. Hey, the sun is coming out with this energy, whether they like it or not. And what I said was the truth, and this is the truth, okay? The sun, they could, again, have a Leo placement in your energy, 
beautiful ones this is the energy for pisces and libra this is what's going on in your energy i'll be tapping back in with your next water sign be sure to hit the like button if you are not subscribed what are you waiting on let's get into this energy libra with pisces peace and love